welcome to our PEP video, according to our motto, with PEP through the year. Hello together. The topic for today is hard coatings for threading tools. Surely you have seen tabs and formers with colored differences at the threading part. Here the functional part or better thread part on the tool is covered with a hard coating. Very interesting topic as always. What is a coating and what are they used for? Coatings are extremely hard and thin layers on tools, also called hard coatings. Yes, Peter, these are used to protect the tools against wear, which significantly increases the tool life and this leads to reduced tool cost per thread. But Paul, there is always a talk about wear protection. What does it actually mean? Well, here you can see a picture of an uncoated tab and a coated tab. The number of threads produced with each tool is the same. Easy to see, the visual difference with the uncoated tool where is visible. And with the coated tool there are only slight signs of use. What other advantages do I get from a hard coating? In general, you can say the friction between the cutting edge and the material during threading is reduced, because the surface of a hard-coated tool are very smooth. This is very positive for chip removal for a cutting tab. On the other hand, there is less friction between the tab and the workpiece during thread forming, of course in relation with a suitable cooling lubricant. Not to forget, Peter, because of the thermal isolation, we have a reduction of the temperature entry into the tool. Right, Paul. Another advantage must be noted, namely the elimination of material sticking, the so-called cold pressure welding on the tab or on the forming lobes of the cold forming tabs. So what are the specification of a hard coating in terms of hardness and thickness? Depending on the type of coating, the hardness is between 2 to 5 times higher than the HSS base material of the tool. This is indicated in Vickers hardness. On an average tool, we have a layer thickness of 3 microns. To represent 1 micron, here an example. The proportions are shown with the help of a pinhead in comparison to the illustration. Dimensionally, nothing needs to change on the threading tool, because the coating thickness has no influence on, to on the tolerance, neither on the tool nor on the thread to be produced. And now we want to explain to you how the coating is placed on the tools. This process is very complicated and we will give you an overview of the process flow. It starts with the preparation of the tools after grinding, the so-called cutting edge preparation. Afterwards, these are cleaned extensively because the tools must be metallically bright for the coating process. As a result, the coating sticks very well on the tools. The next step is to place the tools in special holders, the so-called charging carousels. Now the charged tools are placed in the coating oven. For our tools, we mainly use the PVD process physical vapor deposition. In this process, a vacuum is created in the closed oven and the chamber is heated up to approximately 450 degrees. Depending on which coating is applied, there are different evaporation sources in the coating chamber. Those are called target. 
with the addition of gases such as argon or nitrogen and the evaporation of the target, the resulting ionized metal vapor is attracted to the negatively polled tools. This then settles on the functional area of the tools. And to ensure that the coating deposit evenly in thickness, the tool must be continuously rotated in the oven, in the charging rack. After the cooling of the chamber and the tools, the process is finished after approximately six hours. We from Emuge Franken have for our tool types special and for the application adapted hard coatings. These are applied in our in-house coating center using the most modern coating lines. And here is one example of one of our coating system, TIN 66. TIN 66. TIN means titanium nitride and 66 describes the tool and the range of applications. So now I hope we have been helpful in giving you an insight into the world of hard coatings. For more information about our coated tools, please visit our homepage. Or subscribe our YouTube channel or you visit us on Instagram. Bye bye. Bye, see you.